All right, Coolidge Jackson and Haywood, follow me. Face the wall, ladies, get into a crouch. You got 10 seconds to make it past midcourt. Uh, a crouch? Coach, this could be embarrassing. 10 seconds. Somebody could be watching. Well, I won't see anything they didn't see Tuesday. You guys were pathetic. Central had you eating their dust. Well, wait a second, Coach. I stayed with my man. The guarding a man's back, Jackson, is not my idea of winning defense. Now, I want to see a controlled zigzag. Three steps back to the right, then the left, then the right. Assume the position. Spread them wider, Coolidge. Why is it I feel like I'm being busted? Concentrate on the space in front of you. So how are we going to know where we're going? Get ready. Give me space. <laughs> Money crushing grapes. All right, next, Reese, Thorpe, and Gomez. Yeah, never mind the Clyde squad, coach. It's a piece of cake. Sorry, I'm late. What happened to you? I had to scrape a few spitballs off a few blackboards. Hey, uh, Mill Stone. Let me use your deodorant, man. Hey, forget it, man. <laughs> Why? Because it's a roll-on. So what? So I hear that Sally Johnson has got things, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. What are you talking about? Hey. I took her out one time, and we <laughs> caught a movie, and that's all. You mean you hope that's all you caught? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, forget y'all, man. That's salami. Hey, you got a spray can, man. Let me use your deodorant. Yeah, sure. Hey, man, who you been messing around with? Ah, uh, some guy. Yeah. Let me see you, man. Damn, he must have been a monster, man, because I saw this cat last month. You was duking it out with Big Madigan, man. He was going head to head with him. I got to give it up, bro. You was moving like white light. <laughs> yeah, well, Madigan's a turkey. Yeah, yeah, I remember the time you took that dude from Crenshaw, man, after one of their dances. He poured beer all over my car. And you mopped it up with his face. Hey, like it was a sponge. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, what can I say? You don't mess around with what the chicks call the Motel California. Oh, the Motel. Motel. Your car. Man, all I ever seen in there was a whole lot of vacancy. <laughs> Heard that. <laughs> Yeah, Salami. Yeah. Was it your old man fighter? Yeah, welterweight. Yeah? What'd he fight out of? Fought out of the garden a couple of times. The garden? Mm -hmm. Well, how'd he do? Split. Hey, that ain't half bad. Say, Coach, yeah. you hear that? Salami's old man fought in Madison Square Garden. So'd I. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Cost me 50 bucks a shot plus playing time. <laughs> now listen, you guys, I'm expecting you to keep a stiff upper lip tonight when the soreness starts in. You know, those defensive muscles are coming off a long, extended vacation. Yeah, we weren't that bad. Oh, no, Coolidge? There isn't a disco floor in all of L.A. that could hold both you and Jackson at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, salami, when you take care of the eye, your shooting percentage begs of you. <laughs> How'd you do last night? Lost. Bad? Losing's losing. Big guy? Yeah, construction worker or something. Guy had to weigh 215 easy. I got my pokes and I got paid. How much did they pay? 15 bucks. Yeah, how about him? Two million share, 25. I don't know, Salam. There's gotta be a softer way, huh? Nobody's complaining. Well, at least I guess with that eye. I mean, you're gonna be through for a while, huh? Nah, nothing but a scratch. They like me down there. I give them a good fight. The owner Machete's gonna let me go twice a week. You know, I think you got a loose screw or something. Yeah, maybe. But uh, where else you gonna make 30 bucks a week minimum? That's minimum, because I intend to start winning. For 12 minutes work. What about something safe? A run of numbers, maybe. Forget it, Goldson. And look, why I ever told you about this thing in the first place, I'll never know. But I meant it when I said keep a lid on. Okay. Yeah. Coolidge here with if someone catches wind of this, they'll go running down there with their fake ID and I get pushed out. <laughs> they may be dumb, but they ain't that dumb. Yeah? Well just keep your trap shut anyway. All right. Okay. So when do you go next? Tonight. Tonight? What are you crazy? You just got beat up last night. Such is the life of a headliner. You're nuts. I may be nuts, but I'm in the money. Our halftime guest is Chicago's Artis Gilmore. Artis, 
but the Bulls seem to be struggling. What's wrong with them this year? We've had a lot of problems with injuries. And our board strength hasn't been as consistent as some of the teams in the past. You mean you miss guys like oh, Tom Borwinkle and Kenny Reeves? Uh, no. I'm talking about guys like uh, Bob Love and Chet Walker. Yes, but Thanks a lot, Otis. I hope your goatee falls out. Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah it's me, Goldstein. What do you want? What are you talking about, meeting you in a bar? What are you doing here, Goldstein? How'd you get in here, Goldstein? I've got growth. So's the peach. What's so important that it rates a trip down to this dive? That. What? Back there. A couple of bucks. A couple of bucks? For what? Amateur night. What's next, Lady Restless? Yeah. Well, tonight it's boxing. You're in or you're out? That's boxing? What's this all about, Goldstein? Salami. Some night you want to come back and uh, climb in the ring? Only if I got you in there with me.
You wanted to see me? Yeah, right. Have a seat. I'll stand. Suit yourself. How's the eye? I'm seeing you okay. Good, good. I wouldn't want you missing any lip movement or anything. What is that you think you were doing last night? Making a living. What are you talking about? That was supposed to be so-called amateur night. Yeah, that's what the cops think, too. They take care of their fighters pretty good. <laughs> fighters, huh? How much they pay you? Fifteen bucks. Oh, fifteen big ones. Gee, that's terrific. They pay kangaroos more. You know, I had a good mind to step in there and stop it. You didn't. That would hit you. Okay, tough guy. Now, you flex your muscles long enough. Now, just come down off of it and listen real good. As of last night, you finished with that place. Finished. For a lot of reasons. One, it's illegal. Two, you're not old enough to be drinking water in there, much less fighting. And three, you're a member of a team sport, basketball, which means other guys rely on you. They count on you for having your uh, brains and your eyes and your ears all intact. You get all of that? I need the money. Of course, I guess you couldn't relate to that. Don't give me that salami. I'm from Bayside, Queens. It's never been confused with Park Avenue. Get a part-time job like everybody else. It's not just that. It's not just the money thing. Well, what then? I like it. You like it? You mean to tell me you enjoyed getting beat up? I like to box. Box? You don't know the first thing about boxing salami. That wasn't boxing you were doing last night. You were in a street brawl. I know how to hit. Oh, yeah. You can take a punch pretty good, too. But that doesn't mean a thing. That's like saying that just because you can bounce a ball and shoot a basket, you're a basketball player. I know the basics. You could have fooled me. So what makes you such an expert anyway? Come on, nobody's claiming that. You ever boxed? Yeah, yeah, long before I ever heard about basketball. Catholic youth organization. You didn't stick with it, why? Well, for one thing, I grew into a basketball scholarship. For another thing, I guess I realized somewhere along the line that boxing just wasn't in my blood. Well, it's in mine. Your old man was a fighter, right? What's he say about all this? Nothing. We don't talk much anymore. About boxing? About anything. We haven't been getting along the last couple of years. Look, I just want my chance to fight. Okay. Then you're gonna have to learn to do it right. Lesson number one. Whether you're throwing a combination or dribbling a basketball, you need the same basic ingredient. Rhythm. Well? well? You got the staying power of an amoeba. I could have gone longer. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm from Missouri. I could have. I used to do it for what seems like hours when I was a kid. Oh, that long ago, huh? Follow me. Hot shot. In your many travels, you ever seen one of these? No, what is it? It's called a double-ended bag. It doesn't sit there like the others waiting to get hit. You got to chase it. You mean like you would another fight? Yeah. You're a bright boy, Salami. You think you can handle it? What do you think? Oh, oh, you're off balance. Come on, come on. You're off balance, Salami. You make the same mistake twice, a good fighter will drop you on your wallet. My grandmother take you out from that position. You gotta hit from the balls of your feet, right? So your punches are crisp and you're not looping. Again. Okay. One more time. What is this, Tom Sawyer in a whitewashed fence? You hit it. Concentrate. So you got yourself a puncher here. That's what he'll tell you anyway. Oh, I guess you cut yourself shaving, right? He's also a catcher. What's that supposed to mean? Means you've got a lot to learn about defense. You catch more punches than you throw. One good thing about a catcher, though, he's got heart. He's got to have heart to keep coming back, huh? Keep coming back from what? Oh, no, no. You've got heart and you can hit, kid. You've got the potential. 
It's just a beginner. Hey, are you a trainer? That's right. Those are my boys in there. I've seen that guy somewhere before. Sure. That's Carlos Palomino, welterweight champ. He's a great boxer. He looks like he knows everything. He was 10 when he started. And he made it all the way to the top. That's where I want to be someday. Yeah, well, that's the penthouse. This is the ground floor. Who's the other guy? Paulie. He's my youngest. He's ready to go. He won the first tournament he ever entered. Which one was that? Three gym amateur. Us and Lincoln and Gould, we do it once every year. Is it a big deal? Oh, sure. That's why Carlos is in there now with him. When is it? A week from Friday. And you say it's a big deal, huh? Oh, yeah. It's something around here. Hey. Surprised you, huh? I guess I believe you logged a few gym hours in your time, yeah. Is that with your old man? Uh-huh. He fight amateur or pro? Pro until he was 33. Then he moved us out here and uh, started laying bricks. Where did he do most of his fighting? Clubs, mostly. Where are you from, Brooklyn? No, the island. I want to enter the tournament. Forget it. Why? Because you're not ready for it, that's why. What do you mean? You heard that old guy out there. He said I was great. No, no, you said you were great. He said you had potential. All right, potentially great, which means I'm pretty great right now. It means you're a diamond in the rough. Very rough. And diamonds don't develop in 10 days' time. I run six miles a day every day, and I've thrown just as many punches in the street as they have in the gym. You're talking about street fighting, Salami. Here, thanks a lot. I'm talking about boxing. Strategy, stamina, experience. But I could win it. Now we're talking about winning? You ever considered the Muhammad Ali School for Modesty? We could. What? Wait a minute. Hold it right there. What's this word, we, you keep using? It's the stupid rules. You gotta have a trainer, otherwise you can't do nothing. Well, thank the Lord for the stupid rules, because you're not ready for a tournament, even an amateur one, and I'm no trainer in the first place. But I thought you wanted to help. What's with you, Salami? I keep you from getting your head served in a meat market, and then I use up all my gas getting you down here to the gym. What do you want from me? What's this? Gas money. Now we're even. What's a rush, Salami? What's a big boxing rush? What's a big deal? Look, there aren't a whole lot of things I can do too well. I mean that I'm the best at. I'm not counting on some giant growth spurt like you had. And I guess you could say the NBA is not part of my future plans. And I'm no educational genius, neither. But I've always been able to hit pretty good. Better than anyone my size. Better than most guys 25 pounds bigger. It makes me feel good. Like I was someone or something. And it ain't hurting the other guy I get off on. It's the fact that, you know, you're the best. People say, hey, Salami, he's good. Yeah, he's real good. You know, like they say about those smart kids in science or Hayward in basketball. Why push yourself into something you're not ready for yet? Well, I think I am. You're not going to win. Well, I think I can. It means that much to you? I just want my chance. How about your schoolwork? I, how about your basketball? You think you can handle all of this? With room to spare. I'm warning you, Salami. If your grades go down so much as... All right, we're a team. You know, if your grades go down one point, I wash my hands of the whole thing right on the spot. Deal. Mario Petrino's father felt the need to call me this morning before going off for work. One lump or two? Uh, none. I take it black. He says you're teaching his son to fight. 
No, no, the box. Fighting's what he does the other 90% of the time. Yeah? Well, he wants you to stop. Why? Obviously, he doesn't want Mario going the barbarian route. That's ridiculous. He was a box for himself. He knows the difference. Frankly, I'm surprised that you can. For what? Helping the kid? No, for allowing one of your chosen 12 to fly the coop. So long he's not quitting the team. Then when was he supposed to be fighting? During American history? Come on, the gym's open till 9. What are you pushing for? Death in the ring or by exhaustion? Well, he's a tough kid. He thinks he can handle it. He thinks he can. You should know he can't. You're the adult. He's overextended. Well, I'm not so sure. Coolidge works nights. So does Gomez. They're getting by. That's different. They're working as out of family necessity. Yeah, well, I think this is necessary for salami. Now, look. I had a lot of the same reservations you've got. Maybe even more. But now I'm not so sure. For the first time, he's got all kinds of drive and incentive towards learning to box. I've never seen him like this about anything, including basketball. He really wants this, Sybil, and I think it's important that he gets it. The fact that I continue to completely disagree with you is neither here nor there, because his parents disagree, and the parents, Ken, are always right. Yeah, well, this time, they're dead wrong. You stay out of it. It's a family matter. They don't realize what this means to the kid. Stay out of it. You, you... That's an order. How you doing? And in this corner, weighing 145 pounds, wearing the green trunks, with a nose just waiting to be discombobulated. <laughs> the challenger. Hey, what are you calling yourself, anyway? Yeah. Salami, what do you think? <laughs> hey, man, you can't go into the ring being introduced as salami. What do you want to be known as, a fighter or a delicatessen? <laughs> How about... Mario Petrino. Hey, man, that's even worse. I mean, he'll sound like something out of the opera. But what you need is a nickname. Yeah, right, man. You know, all the pugs got them these days. There's uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Danny Little Red Lopez, uh, Smokin' Joe Frazier, and even Larry Holmes, the Eastern Assassin. <laughs> hey, how about the greatest? Um, it's already been taken, dummy. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute. I think I got it. How about we call him Bambi? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you did that real good. <laughs> wait a minute. Or, or maybe the great white dope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hold it. The prowling Italian. Hey, yeah, man, that's bad. The prowling Italian, huh? Uh, what about I like that? that. That's hey, hip. That's cool, man. Hey, but that's it. Yeah. The prowling Italian. Yeah. 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 I like that. Which one of you dudes is going to sweep the pebbles off the track to save the prowling Italian's tender tootsie? <laughs> 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 That man could run on nails the way he's feeling. Get some of this. Yeah. Right, I'll yeah. Hey, yeah. Smoke it. Give it up, baby. Hey, where's Salami? Uh, he's doing road work about two feet off the ground. <laughs> Terrific. You don't look so good. Hey, coach! Watch with the weights. Figure if I can keep the arms up with 10 pounds each, 14 ounce gloves will be nothing. What time tonight? Well, that's why I came out here. I'll tell you that it's off. Got a hot date, huh? No, it's off for good. What is? The boxing. I'm out of it. Wait a second. What are you trying to say? Your father tell you he didn't want you to box? I told you, we live in the same house, but we don't say two words to each other. Well, then you must have talked to your mother about it. So what? So your father doesn't want your boxing. So what, man? Well, he called school this morning, and I got the word. The word? What are you talking about, the word? Is what I'm doing illegal or something? Of course not. Then he can't stop me one inch. Nobody can stop me. It's a family matter, and family matters are off limits to teachers. You think you're helping me as well? That's beside the point. No, that is the point. You see, if you say no and can still walk away, then the hell with you. I'm sorry. I should have figured.
go. Let's go. You're late. Good morning. Prove it. What's the matter with you? Bulls lose last night? Don't push it. Oh, okay. Did you speak to Mario? Did I have a choice? No, you didn't. Well, then, of course, I snapped two and I did it. Good. Yeah, for who? Everybody concerned. Speak for yourself. I'm speaking for you. Yeah, thanks anyway. Hey, look. Let's get one thing clear. I don't make the rules around here. I just enforce them. And don't you just enforce them beautifully? That's right. To the letter. We might just see about that. I got to get a kit to get some bricks here. We're never going to finish inside. Mr. Petrino? The... Yeah. That's right. I'm Ken Reeves, Mario's basketball coach. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Coach. I got five minutes. You got one of them. Your son wants to box. What have you got against him? I got my reasons. You know, and I'd like to hear some of them. Yeah, and I'd like an easy chair and a cold beer right about now. Now, look, Mr. Petrino, it's very important to Mario and a sense of self-worth. I think you're making a mistake. Won't be the first time. You know where your son was Tuesday night? Mister, I don't even know where I was Tuesday night. Yeah, well, he was standing in a makeshift boxing ring in some bar room on Western Avenue, slugging it out with a guy who's bigger than you are. He was in there because he wants to box. So how'd he do? You looked at his eyes lately? He wants to be a dope letter. No, no, he wants a chance to box, and he's going to get it one way or the other. It won't last. Maybe it won't, maybe it will. Why don't you give him a fair chance to find out? Because you don't have to find out what I already know. No, that was your life got screwed up, not his. Why make him pay for it? He'd just go back to chicken fighting. Maybe this time he'll really get hurt. Hey, mister. I'm just going to tell you this once. You stay the hell out of my life. You stay the hell away from my kid. Your minute's up. Why don't you have a talk with your son? I told you to stay out. That's it. That's it. Wow. Oh, he works hard. He's paid his dues. The nose tells you that. You can always tell the fighter's age by his nose. Now, your boy, like a bacho kid, he sticks out pretty good, huh? <laughs> you know, the cartilage hasn't been bent yet. Now, my boy, I've taken pictures of him since he was 10, and you can see it. You take some pictures of your boy, you'll see. His father wants <clears throat> him out of it. You're not his dad? His father was the next fighter. And he doesn't want to box him. No. Well, it's a shame. The boy has a lot of heart. And he was a fighter. 17 years. You know, it takes a certain kind of man to climb into the ring. You're different in here, and the most are different in here. Dedication. Dedication to the most, man. It takes a special kind of a, a feeling, a real love to do it for 17 years. And that's a lot of agony. And when the time comes and you've got nothing to show, like having lived with a mad woman, you gave it your all and you've got nothing but pain. You're bitter and you're so embarrassed. You're alone, even when you're not. It takes time to come out of it. How much time? A long time. What well, pulled you out of it? Them. What does the family do in the meantime? They sink or swim. Carlos! Where's Salami? He ain't here. I can see that, Coach. Why isn't it? He changed his mind. About what? About playing basketball. Tell you that? Among other things. Such as? Say, brother, is the weather fair out there today? Oh, uh, yes, it sure is, friend. Oh, good. Well, I guess we better be on the lookout for our fair weather friends. If he quit this team because he's sore at me, he's got a lot of growing up to do. Five laps, we break the scrimmage. Come on, come on. 
Come on, let's go. <laughs> you lose. Thank you. Would you care to try it again? Sure. You heard the man, you're a loser. Why push it? So who steered you down here? I got my spies. Swear to God, I'll break Goldstein's face. Yeah, well, you see, he's got a soft spot in his head. He cares about you. Yeah, later. Well, look, I want to talk to you. I've done enough talking already. You already owe me money for gas, so you give me five minutes, we're even, does that? Five minutes. Now, look, I'm really sorry about what happened. I'm sorry about all of it. The boxing, you and your father, I really mean it. Oh, well, don't go losing any sleep over it. You know, you probably won't believe this, but I think your father needs you as much or more than you need him. You're right. I don't believe you. Neither one of us needs anybody. You know, you missed practice today. That's because I quit. Why? Because basketball isn't part of my future plans. So what is? The Big Apple. The Big Apple? For what? The box. Oh, yeah? Box where? Clubs. That sounds familiar. Was that running the family or something? I'll do OK. All right, look. You want to box that badly, I'll sweeten the pot for you. You stay out of that dive, and we'll end in the tournament just like we planned, together. Forget it. From now on, I do what's best for me, and that means doing only the things I have control over. You want me to have to call the cops down at that place? You do, and I'm out of here tomorrow. I'm disappointed in you, Salami. I thought you had more in your mind than just turning into another street punk. So I told Salami we'd enter the tournament just as planned. I thought you were told to stay out of family politics. In no uncertain terms, but what difference does it make now anyway? I mean, the kid's completely turned off to any kind of guidance, any kind of advice. Well, no wonder. His father sounds like an absolute monster. Now, I don't know about that. As I understand it, he can't be blamed for his actions any more than Dad could be blamed for his. You mean when he was drinking? Yeah. A sickness is a sickness. Well, can't this kid join one of the local boxing clubs or something? Yeah, it's all died out by now. Used to be a time you'd go down to the CYO or at least a Y to learn how to fight. But, uh, that's no more. Boxing's a dying sport. When the old timers leave, they'll probably take a lot of it with them. It's like your old ale drinkers. Come again? No, no, it's true. In the early days of the 20th century, everyone used to drink ale. Your grandfather, your father, and you. And then the draft came, kids went into the army and learned to drink beer instead. Now, whenever an old ale man dies, he's really gone. Hey, you just don't replace him. Maybe Salami should be introduced to Bill's granddad, huh? Yeah, I think it's high time that Salami was introduced to his own father. You were specifically told to stay out of it. Well, I'm trying, but it's not easy. If you had limited your concerns to what you'd been hired for, these problems wouldn't come up. Come up? You mean to the surface. Better we should just let them fester down there where nobody can see them, so that maybe, just maybe, they'll go away. Because you know the old saying, out of sight, out of mind. That's not what I meant. Oh, I'm sorry, Sybil. I must have misunderstood. Exactly what did you mean? I meant there is only so much a teacher can do for a student or should do for a student. So where do you draw the line? Preferably at the end of each school day, and then the parents take over the, the reins. The parents? Salami's father wouldn't guide him away from a chewed piece of gum. Now, look, for your information, it so happens all fathers don't get along with all sons, uh. nor all sons with their fathers. The young bull challenges, the old bull resists. So the old bull takes away the car keys for a week, and the young bull scrambles back in the line. Wrong. Not in this case. The problems run too deep. They'll work it out. Sybil, for crying out loud. Salami's father sits back while his kid makes enough money fighting in barrooms to run off to New York, and you call his working it out? I call it a very sad situation that, unfortunately, is out of our jurisdiction. Well, I just don't want to see him get hurt. What's happening? Oh, nothing. Just sitting here trying to decide on something. Yeah, what? Who gives the eulogy at your funeral? Since I speak best, I assume it'll be me. Drop dead. 
Seems to me that's more your scene than our son. Hey, what is this? I thought you guys were with me. The proud Italian, next welterweight champ of the world. We were with you when you were doing it straight. You don't get there by the route you're going. Hey, Goldstein, just shut up, OK? That lip of yours is starting to make me sick. Yeah, well, for once in his life, he's talking sense. Why don't you listen up? No, you listen. I got a plan, and I'm going to do it. I make enough bread fighting here, and I go back to New York. From there, I club it for a while. Then I make my move upstairs to the big time. And that's how it's going to work for the prowling Italian. Oh, come on, Salami. You mean the howling Italian. If one of them rockheads in the bar rooms down there don't break your face, and somebody in New York will. You don't know nothing. Oh, yeah, man, well, I'll tell you this. I know what I see. A dude with maybe some real talent wasting it for a handful of coins. You better stick with the gym, Salami. If you got any real talent, you'll know it soon enough. Later for the gym. Later for your brain. Just what do you expect to cut in New York? Lots of guys make it that way. Oh, yeah? Like who? Like your old man? Keep him out of this. Seems to me he's just a man who needs to be in. He knows the score. He's been there, Salami. It's open. You better not be skipping any classes coming down here. Got better places to go when I do that. Oh, sorry, I should realize. I gotta tell you, a few of us talked to Salami. And? And. He's still talking about fighting. And he's still talking about leaving. He's going down there to fight again tonight. Oh, that's just beautiful. A few of us were thinking about kidnapping him or something. <laughs> Nothing temporary is gonna work, Goldstein. He's gotta be reached. And until that happens, until something really shakes him up, his attitude's not going to change. He wants us to come down and watch him tonight. You know, maybe you should go. Maybe if he gets humiliated in front of his friends, it'll put some kind of a dent in him. You going? Pass. Run me over. After the way I lit into you this morning, I got it coming. No. I think maybe I've got it coming. Uh -huh. There can't be any absolute cutoff point. Things don't work out that way. You know, we're both after the same things. We just go about getting them a little differently. Yeah. Coming back from a long lunch, huh? Mrs. Petrino. Oh. So the lady practices what she preaches, huh? You get anything at all? Well, for one thing, I don't think Mario hates his father. I think he's trying to emulate him. What makes you say that? A combination of things. Similar patterns, mainly. When you're dealing with a love-hate thing, it's usually the hate that shows and the love that's hidden. Oh, yeah? I didn't know that. We don't all wear our emotions on our sleeve. You could have fooled me. Anyway, Mario's father goes to work. Then he comes home to eat dinner, and then he goes out to the same bar for the rest of the night, every night. Now, that's no way to break down any barriers. So if you can't even get these two to cross the street together, then what? Then it's got to come strictly through emotion. Strictly through emotion? Mm -hmm. Good luck, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> what? You know, that bar that he always goes to? Yeah. What's the name of it? She tell you? Yeah, but I don't remember. The, uh, green something. The what? Uh, Phantom thing. I think it's on, uh, Western. Green Phantom on Western. You sure? Well, of course not. Well, that's close enough. I'm putting you up for a race. Hey, pasa. I need a favor from you. And from Carlos. Seat clear? Go ahead. You're a bug, yeah? Right? A nose. You can always tell by the bend. Me, you can't tell too much, but I took a few shots just the same. Uh, beer? Uh, so, uh, what did you find at? Light heavy? Welterweight. Me too. Uh -uh. I beat Juan Carrera, Mexico City, 1954. 
So, uh, where'd you find out of? East Coast. Thank you. Uh, my son, he fights well the way, too. Tough kid. So, how long you fight? Half my life. Go anywhere? Does it look like it? How was your trip to Mars? <laughs> Says when you judge the insides by the outside. Drink your beer. I guess maybe you were a bleeder. All that uh, scar tissue must have cost you something. Three stops in 17 years. I guess you could take a punch. My son, he can take a punch, too. Uh, you know my son. How would I know your son? He fights on television once in a while. Carlos, come here. Carlos, I want you to meet another fighter. Carlos? You're Carlos Palomino. That's right. Nice to meet you. Well, this is a real pleasure. I've been following you since that fight with Bocas. I fought him 10 years before that in New York. Yeah. I caught him at the end. He was a nice man. I caught him at the beginning. It wasn't so nice then. But well, come on, let me buy you a couple of beers. Thanks, but we're going down the street to catch a couple of clubbers. Yeah, we're, we're looking for a couple of young fighters. You know, bring them up through the ranks, you know. Uh, we have my son, Paul, but we're going to look at a young kid tonight. Hey, why don't you come with us? Club fight? Around here? Anything I taught you, you gotta protect your ribs. He's killing you with body punches. When you throw a jab, you gotta bring it back right away. You know that. You also drop your right whenever you're leading your left hook. Get on your toes. Don't fight flat. Keep circling. Get your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That a boy. Don't get over anxious. When you stick him, you're rushing with the right hand. 
got to set up the combinations before you go with them. Jab and hook, jab and hook. You understand? He's telegraphing his punches. Don't block them, slip them. Just like when you was a kid. Step inside and work the gut. Pound away at that gut, at that midsection. That'll bring his hands down. Then you can send this joker to dream. How was your trip to Mars? What trip? You went to recall, remember? I did? Yeah, you did. I told you not to, but you went anyway. What are you, my father? My father? My father? You black queen! You black in my Mars! Are you crazy? I don't even know anything about Mars! Party Richter, 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 Party Rich